Okay, just, uh, give me a sound check there, Vince, or someone. Okay, Rick, uh, yeah, go ahead. It's working. I'm ready to go. You're muted. Thank you for the sound check. And it looks like we're ready to go. Okay, welcome everyone to the Tuesday, October 27, 2015. This is the Keshe Foundation Spaceship Institute Blueprint Teaching Week. And uh, today is the morning session, and we're ready to go with uh, Mr. Kesh of the at the Kesh Found, uh, Foundation Spaceship Institute. And uh, I think that we're pretty much ready to go there. Is that true, Mr. Kesh? Good morning to you. Good day to you, wherever and wherever you listen to these uh, teachings. Today is the second day of Blueprint Day week, where we teach how for you to make the blueprint of the system. We teach you how to make the system yourself, and we go together in one direction, to be able to produce energy unit, which is good enough to help mankind to go to the next step of development of the society. Where we do, are not dependent on oil, or we are not dependent on coal, or any other means which man has been waiting for and has been using for centuries and thousands of years. When we finish completing this technology in the coming weeks, every man on every point on this planet, being in the jungle, if we can communicate with him, be it on the, the skyscrapers of New York or Tokyo, will have his own independent power unit. This is not, as I always say, what we developed for the use on this planet. We have developed this technology for a space, where in a space we become independent of any resources on Earth that we can take a step into a deeper space without worrying where the next food will come from, where the next water will come from, where there will be oxygen for us to breathe, and if we can have shelter where we land. We have developed in Cash Foundation SSI Space Institute a technology in totality to cover all needs of man in space. But the development has been so rapid that we have decided to share the knowledge. The knowledge in sight of a lot of scientists of today, physicists, nuclear physicists, biologists, doctors, men of medicine, looks very strange because they have been taught to think and to act and use the materials around them. We have seen doctors using the tools of the technology and rapidly accepting it. I was told by Renan that hospital in Philippines they start part of the processing that because they've seen the results. We have communication with a number of health institutes that they would like to start testing because the result is so prominent. You don't need to wait for weeks and months for results, it's immediate. On the other hand, the energy application, which a lot of people are interested in, it's nothing compared to when it's completed in, co in the coming weeks and coming months. We are not going to do it as a Cash Foundation SSI here in Italy. We are going to do it as Cash Foundation family worldwide. This time we put everything on the table because we are detached from financial income of it because our, our goal is to develop the space technology that we can take man into space without rocket fuel, without everything else. And as we said, for years, I've been pushed to commercialize something from the technology to show this power. We released part of the magnetic pads months ago. We released the pens as a pen pants, which was released to Philippines. Then we have now released the magra power then we release the water, energy, and food in different aspects. And hopefully, if we come to an agreement with the Iranian government, early next year, we will see 
the power of the left without fuel. My ambition is not to do it in Iran because Iran was the first nation which accepted the technology, invested a lot of money into it seven, eight years ago in developing it as part of the plasma technology, space technology of Iran. So my thanks goes to the office of His Excellency President Rouhani and his predecessor, President uh, Ahmadinejad, in supporting the technology and protecting it over years that it could come to where it is now. Without the Iranian government support in security, in initial financing of the first lift units, the technology most likely would take in different shape. But the trust by the Iranian government in technology and supporting it allowed it to be where it is. Then, now we have come to a point with the help of the Italians. As I said always, the Italians, the Persians, and the Romans have been in bed together for thousands of years. And now we come back to it again the same way. But this time, taking man to space. We brought the technology from Iran. We've been given a safe home by the Italians. And now in Italy, we produce the units. The workforce behind the development is totally Italian. We employ nobody but the Italians because we are based here. And now we are releasing technology in a very radical way. Today, the first batches of MagRav systems are leaving the factory. By Friday, we fulfill all the commitments of the Keshe Foundation for all the units which has been paid for. If we receive blockage that you do not receive your unit, we have a backup plan. We don't disclose it, but if customs or governments stop the process of you receiving your units, we do our magic. We tell you how we're gonna give it to you. It'll come from the same factory, but in pieces. And we tell you how to put it together. Very simple, it takes 10 minutes, you got your units. Because they cannot stop shipping the plastic and they cannot stop shipping of copper. So if there is a blockage by any government in respect to transportation of these units, then you receive it in three pieces. One piece is a blue plastic to put it in. One piece is the wiring. And the third piece is a piece of paper how to put it together. That's all you're gonna receive. They won't be together that in case custom office is clever enough, we can put it together for himself or his house. So now there is no way that we're going to stop the process. There is something interesting. We started the teaching yesterday with the wires. And now, if we have any of you online who's made any of the systems since yesterday, you made the call, you now put it. We saw Richard yesterday. If there's any of you who wants to show what they've done up to now, please come on the screen and share it with us. Is there any way we can do this? Vince? Oh, yes. Uh, uh, let me get on to... Uh... I know Richard will be very interesting to show his pieces. And I know I've seen a number Richard. of people. Brennan has shown his pieces yesterday on the internet, on the Facebook. I know some other people who were here in Italy last week. They already made their pieces. So those who have completed the pieces yesterday or partially are doing it, can we have them to show at least the people see who the, what the development is? Is Richard there? Or is he still asleep? No, he's here. I'm waiting for him to respond. He fell asleep. He's been uh, set up his audio beforehand. Richard, are you going to unmute yourself? Is uh, yes, I am. Hi, good morning. Would you like to show us how far you got? Have you managed to nano coat yet? Yes, I have. You want to see it? Of course, that's why we are there. <laughs> you are a double Dutchman. Uh, just a sec, I'll get it to the camera. I have, to wear some, I'm, I have to wear some gloves. Just a sec, I'll show you. Okay, 
is um, running up there. If he can come in afterwards, or anybody else. Do you see anybody's hands up who want to show? One of the guys who was in Rome last Friday, uh, he has put his uh, coil up last night from Austria. Yeah. Hmm? Which camera are you going to use there, Richard? Is it uh, that I asked for the right one or not? Nope, I did not. Okay, no problem. Are you opening or can we focus here? Um, Mr. Cash, this is Kevin. Yes. I can show you uh, Peter Solofers, who was who was in yep. Rome. Yep, that's the one. Yeah, let me. Yeah. Okay. What's this? Whose lab is this one? This is Richard. Oh, Richard, you have a better lab than we have. I just it. <laughs> the cat out of the bag. Now we know you're well equipped. He's quiet. Can you hear us, Richard? Oh, yes, we can hear you. Ah. You're still boiling. Hey, it was the second coating. You're disturbing me. <laughs> ah. <laughs> but that's okay. That's okay. I'll do it again. So this is. Sorry? Close it because you're going to lose your coating. It's okay. Thank yeah, you. This is the second one, okay? Yeah. You have so, more boxes? I don't have. Well, I can show you the pictures. Or uh, Vince can go on Facebook. Yeah, I've seen you putting it on the Facebook, and I still see you using the code for the thingy down here somewhere. What, what, are, you, what are you referring to? Something 503 at the bottom. Oh, yeah, here. <laughs> Wait, here. Come on, Mr. Kesh. Yes, <laughs> that's the code for the Zoom meeting. Zoom for meeting. everyone to be <laughs> sure that they come in, right? Yeah, okay. You're going to show us anything? What do you want to see? Because, well, I've done the nano coding now, so we're actually waiting for you for the rest of the steps. <laughs> uh, it's good. The, okay. What are, what are we going to see? Okay, thanks very much, Richard. You get the rest of the recipe and we come back to you later on. <laughs> Great. Is Renan on? Because I've seen he's done a very nice loop. You got to realize something about Renan. Renan is the director of the Cash Foundation Manufacturing in Philippines. They're actually producing the units in Philippines, commercializing it. So, he's... Renan? No, sorry, I'm I'm not muted. Sorry, my fault. No problem. So, what you see with Renan? Renan is already. Oh, that's a nice picture of uh, Richard. Um, so, Renan, when you see, they have developed the technology in a very different ways. They are doing it using a, a standard fuse boxes and the standard capacitors. We are working different than they do. Um, they use a conventional big capacitors, and um, we're in the Cash Foundation, we don't do that in the, in the Italian. We do a different version, and um, they have achieved a good power output. They can go 3.4. Yesterday, I was speaking with the factory. We will, um, here in Italy, release a 7 to 10 kilowatt unit within this week. But we leave it to you. We advise you how to do it. It's yours, how you want to do it. And um, to support it prior to shipment, the factory has rewired all the systems which are going out today. A lot of people have been doing a lot of work in the background yesterday that, as we said, we gave the government till the 26th and the deadline was yesterday. While we are developing, if we see any improvement, anything changes we need to do, we do. And yesterday, the last minute, we, I received a call and in the factory, we gone for a high power cable to be able to support heavy loads because we've seen a performance. 
we explained to you how it's done. The unit is still sold at a two kilowatt unit, but we have tested and we have passed seven and 10 kilowatt in our tests. But we still, to be within regulation, we need to go at two kilowatt unit. And to be able to do that, we had to increase the cable size by over 75%. This is only this cable was replaced last night overnight. The units were all reopened and changed because we saw a development. This is how it's going to be. This technology is developing so rapidly that the minute we find out from the unit we find out, we change on the production line. We have a very good versatile team here in Italy, um, very devoted to see this technology through. All our workforce, 100% is Italian. This was the ethos of the Cash Foundation. We will not employ outsider to pay cheaper rates. We are paying top rates to our staff. And last night and this morning, they stayed behind to make sure the first batches go is up to date what we had. We could have sent to we saw. There was a side box and the wires have been changed. The ones who have not left the factory according to the plan. So we expect the same thing from you. If you develop something with it, let us know. We can change it. And on the back of this, we advise immediately even the ambassadors the change in the design because then they can change the blueprint. On the other hand, as you know, we will change the power units into the car units um, of the same structure in the coming days and will go the same way. The only difference you will get, as I explained, we send the units on the invoice as it is. And if it gets blocked by any chance, we'll send you in parts. Then we tell you how to connect it. We put a workshop for the people who leave the parts, how to assemble it, and they have their units. This is the way to overcome the problems. This morning, I told you yesterday, it's the way the Cash Foundation works. We, we, we stay very open. A bunch of Belgium wrote to the banks that we are money clearing, laundering system with these power units. This morning, I spoke with the director of the bank and they said, what the heck is going on? We were not aware that people are taking companies, hijacking like this, putting on the internet and people writing to the bank and we have to take it seriously. I received the apology from the bank. Please give us the links they put on. The people who send the emails now, they're positioned in the bank in Belgium for a warrant for arrest. They are very adamant. They're not going to stand this because to them, they're losing money on the back of people who wrote fake that we are money laundering. Now the bank is taking action against the people who you know in Antwerp and Rotterdam and Germany for falsifying information to the banking system. So you see the openness pays. Those people who wrote those emails to the bank, now they have to change their name, their addresses, and most probably the banks in Europe will block all their accounts because now they're part of the fraud section, kidnapping bank accounts, false documentation, and that's what they've done. So openness pays. We gave the bank the links to the ambassador meeting. I said, if you're a money drone there, this is where it is done. All the nations are receiving it. The bank is shocked in what action they took. And now the people who send the emails, they have all their addresses. Now they have to respond for deception. It's very interesting the way we did the same thing with PayPal. We did the same thing with the Interpol. And they are aware now there's a new system of fraud set up by the Belgians, not only by the police, now by the individuals in Antwerp, now as a backup in Germany. So whoever of you sent an email to the fraud at the central banks about the cash foundation and the cash technologies, be careful, your bank accounts most probably will be looked into and this is called the perjury. So it's a criminal offense by seven to 14 years imprisonment, gentlemen. Now, as you see, we are still here. We still work function. And I'll give you one tip. We work very, very closely 
with national securities and governments. It's part of the structure of the work of the Keshe Foundation. We work, it has to be the same with all the Keshe Foundations around the world. Next week, the first batch of the car power Can you hear us? Yeah, next week, the first batch of free car units will go to the Italian police in our area because they look after us, they support us, and in turn, we promised them with Giovanni that the first units will go to the police here. So we interact directly. The same should be with all the cash foundations around the world support your police force without them support your security forces without them you cannot operate you cannot live a society especially now that you start releasing these energy units manufacturing them the cornerstone of the society moves in the hand of the police and security people i have worked with securities and the police at the highest level for over 30 years i live by them they are the Bible book of my life because you still get corruption, but overall you get the support you need. That's why you see with us everywhere, very close cooperation, even in presentation with securities and the police, because they have to realize there is not the foundation they protect, but it's the nationals. When these technologies become free, then most of the people in the society become part of the police force because then they serve themselves. They will not carry arms. Then you understand how closely you have to work. Most of the units will give out freely will be to security forces. That they can see the use the way we did with the bank this morning. The bank can see there is something in there which is for the benefit of the bank, not something against the nation. So as part of the ethos of the Cash Foundation, when you stop producing your units, give one unit to each police officer. Give one to your police forces, one to your security, to the teachers and the rest, that by supporting them, they support us. When we give a unit to the police force, when we have, I think the police force, most probably what I see, there are about two, 300 cars here in this area, most probably, yeah? You calculate each police car uses 100 euro of fuel a week, if they're on petrol, because they have to drive, otherwise they're not there. If the police pays a large part of their income for the fuel, and now you can help them to save most of it, or at least 70, 80% of it, please support me to put into society, in more forces on the, floor, on the ground, more development. These are the real situation, is not that hoping that they will change. I work with the security forces for years. Every cent counts. How we develop it counts. How much they have, they can put on the beat, on the force, they count. The health units which we develop, they'll go directly to the police force. We already done one. Yeah. So they can see the benefit of it. You got to work with your society. Is this this section or is it the other section? Are we still live or have we been disconnected? Oh, no, we can still hear you. It's just that uh, looks like you so, turned off. Well, uh, this no, is okay. Thanks very much. Now you understand when we start the next step is today as part of the blueprint is to understand what is the next step. The next step we saw with Richard. He showed you his pieces in the caustic, going black, nano-coated. He took it out, as you saw with Armand teaching yesterday. He put it in for a second time steaming that if there is any mist, now you can strengthen and cover. 
if you saw in the black box of uh, Richard, there were a couple of black pieces on the side, like this. I explained to you, this was the same copper pieces you cut. You can get a bigger piece like this, what we use here, or you can do what we do in the factory. We bought a ton of copper for commercial to gas. So what happened? You nano coat one part and you take another piece of copper the same. You make a solution of salt. If you live near the sea, use seawater. That's your best solution. If you live anywhere near big lakes, seas, oceans, take water from it. You don't need to do anything. Anybody who's using the seawater, they're reporting such a huge result that it's not even worth buying salts to put it in it. The result is fantastic. You produce a lot of uh, gas material when you use it. What you do, you put, you connect your nano copper material. You can actually, I've seen people who use nano copper wires and they just stick it in. But in a very short time, you see the copper disappears because the material changes to nano, from nano into the GANS. So what do you do? You connect, this shouldn't be done by me, it should be done by you, uh, Armin. You're mastering it. There is a video on it. You can still show it, you show it how to do it. So you put your nano-coated copper piece and a copper which is not nano-coated in the content of a salt, and you connect the two together with a piece of wire. What do you do? You connect one piece out and connect the other piece, and then you join them, the two wires outside. If the salt content is correct, and if the temperature is correct, what you're going to end up with in the water is that now every single nanomaterial which you created on your wire. This was your nanomaterial on the wire. Now, what's going to happen? They are going to be released. And more or less, what colors you will see, depending on the current flow between the two plates, is most probably green. You will see layers of green at the bottom of the box. So. All these nano layers, when they change, they become green in color. And you can see it here. This is the green color. Do you want to come close to look at it? Uh, Fabio, would you like to come close to show this? You can see this color green, lighter green, different kind of green it comes to. And what you will see is that you collect these at the bottom. It becomes like sediment, but you see these are different kind of sediments you are used to. The, it's like a floating gel, but is a atomic structure of free plasma of the copper. There is a way you can do it much faster too. That is, if you connect, a normal copper plate and another copper plate in the salt water and connect it to 1.5 volts and uh, 0 0.5 amps input. You see it, it just bubbles off. Correct? The master is sitting there. Yes. One second. Do you want it to look at this one second or do you want me? Uh, that time it was on purpose. 
just hold on a second, Rick. Uh, we're just trying to get to make sure the backup is uh, is working on there because we've had a couple of dropouts. Working. Hello. Okay. okay, I think we're back up and working there. You're back up working. Okay, you've gone on the other unit. Perfect. Thank okay. you. Thank you very much. So we didn't say anything. I just froze till you start. So there is a way you can the speed up production of GANS material is the GANS, as we said, is when the material itself, which is in the center, changes to, if you look at it, this is the copper in a matter state. You nano coated it, it became black. And now you put it in the salt, the nano atomic structure which was connected to the matter now releases itself. What you're gonna get at the bottom of your pot is something like this. Uh, you're gonna get very much, what you're gonna get at the bottom is like this, dots of green. So you have the water on the top and you have your GANS material at the bottom. There are different things to do. If your current is too high, for example, you go to 2.5 amp, uh, so sorry, 1.5 amp and 2.5 uh, volt, you will copper will look this color. It won't look green. No, the copper will be about this color. It's a copperish color, but it won't be green. It's still a GANS material, but you made the speed of change so much. When it's green, it's copper oxide. When it's plastic color, brown, copper color, you see you have, you have a um, copper, CuO, or O2. This is green. If you do a fast rate, then it comes, the master is here. Armor, show it to you. If you want, you can come to see it. It's, this is a copper nano coated and a zinc. And here in the bottom, we are collecting CO2. It's white. With a copper, if you connect it to a plate and a current, then it's copper oxide. If it's a high rate, it's a copper in the Gans state itself, it's the color of copper. If you increase the rate very high, it goes black. But it still is copper content, but in a different combination. So you get three different colors, but at the end is all Gans. You can use copper and zinc to get CO2, but try to take your time you understand what I'm talking about in a very short time. If you leave your copper oxide, which has gone very fast by conversion of the copper, it is brown copper, brownish copper at the beginning. And after a couple of days, you see the material changes to green, oxidizes. So you see the conversion. Sometimes happens to the black. So what you see, try to get into oxidization level, not just to create copper all the time as the Gans state, single atomic plasma. The reason being is when you come to use what you're producing for your system, power ratio of the plasma comes into play. Copper is 59, 60, something in that region. But if you oxidize it, whoop, now it's 59 plus 32. 
that gives you 5, that gives you 95. You see the difference? It's the difference, if you understand, between this total roll and this total roll. You have a stronger plasma. And a stronger plasma is what you're looking for, if you remember yesterday's teaching. So try to do it slow, try to go into oxidization, try to make a mixture of ganses. Mix copper oxide. If you put in your system where you have this copper oxide, as it is a copper plate, nano coated, and a zinc, and if you put a piece of iron in it, you start getting blood, you get homoglobin. Do not use homoglobin or red blood in your system. What you see, if you can come close with your cameras, you see what I'm talking about. Is there any way you want to have a look? Fabio, do you want to come and have a look close? If you look, we've got two cameras here. On the top, you have a fat layer. This is what I said to you yesterday. Um, can you see the fat? Or do you want me to come close to you? Because live stream is important. They see the other way, and the satellite will go a different way. If you see this fat on the top, this is what becomes oil later on. This is, if it comes in interaction with the iron, becomes homoglobin, and then becomes a human life in a way or form, animal red blood. If it comes in Mr. mixture- Just, just hold it there while he focuses in, please. Yeah. If you see this fat, this is how life started on this planet. For the first time, we can prove there was no Adam and Eve. The start of the life it starts with amino acid, which is sitting on the top, but just putting a copper plate and the zinc. Zinc is the emotional part of the body of a man. Copper is the physicality of the man. And then when you put iron in it, it becomes red homoglobin, and that's how life has started. So when we explained to you yesterday that Oil will never finish. Now you see the beginning of the oil industry. All of you, when you make these plates, you will see this. And then what you're actually interested in, I forgot to show you, is at the bottom, which is the CO2. None of you has ever seen, or most of you, CO2 in a solid state. But now with the development of plasma technology, you can hold, hang on, and play with CO2 even as a pace. If you've been to our teachings, most probably you've done yourself. And if what I explained, you can add iron to this fat or amino acid. If you look at the bottom of here, you see blood. This is one of the process. The camera can take at the bottom, you see the redness of the blood. That's how life has started. That's a copper oxide comes with a zinc, and you can see the red blood. This has been tested. I'll go on the camera for our live stream that you can see where we, we produce, I have produced liters of blood by using iron. You can see the difference? It's just in the shade there. So when you add iron to the amino acid, homoglobin is created. So now we understand the essence of the creation, how it has been developed. But in your system, you try to get mixture of everything. Because when it comes to produce energy, in the next step, you need a soup of GANs. When you collect these at the bottom, you get a syringe, you extract it, you put it on under a heater to dry it, from liquid, what do you do? You extract this part, you put it on a plate, you let it dry, or you dry it with a lamp and dry it much faster. It took me ages to dry one. And I almost said, oh, it's easier to do. Just a light, heating light, and it dries it in a couple of hours, and by morning you have the right paste. 
So you need, oh yes, you have to wash the salt out. But you can, yeah, when you extract it, I forgot one place, the other guru reminds me, you have to wash the salt out because you created this in the salt condition. Wash, put some, uh, what do you call it? Uh, distilled water in your mixture when you extract it, two, three times, let it settle, take the top water out, and then you have a pure Gans. Then dry your Gans, not to a paste yet, but to a liquidish, um, like a running soup, but not uh, like more, uh, not liquid liquid, but in a pasty liquid. Pardon? Pardon? Like a stew. That's the word I was looking for. Getting old, even forget food, it means there is no need for it anymore. So you put, what you do, you put your gas materials. I go through this again, but if you go on the Cash Foundation website, they're everywhere, you know how to make it. A lot of people have made it. So now you nano-coated what we've seen with Richard. You made the nano-coating of your um, material. If I can find a box of nano-coating, you put the plasmas aside there. So now you made your nano-coated springs the way we saw. Then what you need to do, you get this stew, thin soup, which you made, has to be very running, but not thick. You fill it up into the bottom of your container and all you do, very, very gently. You get hold of your rings and you just put your rings, nano-coated rings inside it and just shake it till it gets fully covered with a soup. You take it out and you just let it dry. It has to dry totally. It's not black anymore. It has the color of your soup. You need it. This soup is the gans. Now, the most important part of the whole operation is this soup. If you put your nanocode material together, you get nothing. You see, it does not work. Now, with a soup, you have attached the sun to it, the energy unit to it. The secret is putting the gans as a soup back on the spring, on the nano coating. Now the, the soup, the gans of the soup becomes everlasting supply to already superconductor layer here. You created this superconductor layer by nano coating and now you Bring the soup back. You put the gans in a liquid state that it can attach itself to this material. And then what happens here, these layers of superconductors will carry the energy of the plasma back into the superconductor level because it's a matter of state or if you make it strong enough into the copper as a AC feed. So now you understand that's the simplicity of that's been the part of the breakthrough in the technology. Without this, if you put these together, two nano coated material will give you nothing. Once you put it through the soup and you let it dry, if it's not totally dry, you will get a big bang because now you have water molecules, which when you put the energy of the current through it, they just explode, they evaporate. So when you've done this, when you've done this coating, you washed your springs and then you let it dry totally Absolutely, it has to be dry. Even if it takes two days, you have to let it dry. If you hang it, it dries properly. And then you have the first basis for the next step to start absorbing the energy of the plasma into 
superconducting layers which you already created. In the future, when we develop the technology further, as I explained to you, we will take the copper out in a specific way that the nano layer stays. Because don't forget, this nano material is connected to this. If you take it out the wrong way, then you destroy the base, your nano coating disappears because it's connected to it. It has to be done in a specific way that you can empty literally this tube of all its content. And then what you're going to get is a hollow superconductor magnetic field plasma flow system. This has been the dream of communication specialists. Because now what happens, don't forget each one of these is a plasma. If you look at the bottom of this pipe, what you have is a beautiful, let me change the color because I think then you understand it. I'm going to take these away from here. I'm going to take this away. I'm going to do this that you can see. That's the end of the green tube. The green tube, the copper pipe is here. This is your, you will have your nano coating, if I can follow it like this, very slow. Then you already have, can you move this up please? Then you have the GANS on it. You just gotta move it down somewhere. Yeah, just move it out of the way. It's okay, that's good. Thanks very much. So now you have this. When you empty this, when you empty this copper of matter state, this is solid. If this is looking at end of this copper wire. Now you nano coated it, is this, the black one, and then you added the guns, thick guns to it. It has to be like whitewash, you know, if you ever put the chalk in the water to cover the windows that nobody can see in, it's called the whitewash. The thickness has to be that kind that it sticks to the nanomaterial. Don't forget the GANS is trying to repel the nanomaterial itself is a magnetic field holding. You have to create a place that it holds on to. So the beauty with this is, if I can take this away, that you understand there's a little bit of a mistake here. So now if we take empty, hollow this, if I can do it this way, if we make this hollow, you see what happens. You have central environment, which is surrounded by plasmas. Here, it's a pure, in this region, a pure superconductive plasma condition without any matter state, hollow, better than fiberglass. Zero time loss of information. Because plasma, total magnetic, superimposing on other plasma, total magnetic, central free, surrendered by plasmas. This has been the dream of physicists in the world of material. A superconductor at no cost. 
in a way, if you take a hollow tube, copper tube, you get the same effect. You can transfer information at zero time anywhere on this planet. And if you can tube it the right way is, if you understand how it works, zero time transportation, communication, anywhere across the universe, because nothing is lost. So you see as part of the development, a breakthrough even in the world of communication. All it is, you have a tube, if I have a tube here, you can see, it. you have this, this is the spring, nano coated, gans coated, there is nothing in the center of the spring. The center is superconductor transportation of anything you need, even energy you can cost, cross over. All you need to do for physical <coughs> application, you can put a plastic coating on it if you like. This is million times more effective, carry more information than any fiberglass at the moment used for communication. Zero loss. You can do the same thing with your energies. You can transport megawatts and gigawatts through these little narrow holes because it's a superconductor, zero time loss, and is protected fully by a plasma magnetic field with no loss because the two layers will protect themselves. So now you understand what is the next step for you in your process. So what are you gonna end up with? is this you know you've been to these things they said there is one i made before this is one i made before but it was encaustic in there i didn't see it but it doesn't matter this is a unit which has been through the process i'm gonna get it you should be over here you don't get any drips So this has been through what you call a whitewash. This is a system where the wires have been nano-coated. I open it that you can see two ends. And when you look, you see it's a very, very dusty white wash. This is your power supply. This is the oil fields of the universe. You don't need to mind. I'll come close for you to see it. It's a very, very fine dust on it. And this is what you call the Gans material. Without this, you'll find out the system doesn't work because you cannot work when there is no fuel. You want to take a picture that way from it. You made the tools now with producing the GANs, you fuel the system. This is the backbone of the technology. This is the breakthrough part of which you've been waiting for. Without it, it does not work because as my grandmother used to say, if you haven't had breakfast, you expect to understand the school, there is nothing in there. She meant the stomach. You can't work without the fuel. So this is the secret to the whole package. The GANs, which you produce, I explained to you again how you do, how you make this powder, this liquid. It has to be fully saturated. You let it dry. If you are not happy with it, you don't think it's been done good enough, when it's dried, do it the second time. There is no hurry. This is what I said to somebody recently. Man has been waiting for this for millions of years. Take your time. One or two days does not make much difference, but do it correctly. What you need to make this paste is <clears throat> a copper wire. If you nano coated it or a copper piece of plate and a zinc to create a CO2. This is what you see at the bottom here or you put two copper plates, or you put two zinc, one nano-coated, one non-nano-coated, and you create as many different types of cancers that what it is, you got to understand now why I put this formula on the top. 
here is 95. Plasmatic magnetic field strength. Here is 59. You can see the gradient of the field strength where the energy flows inwards. That's why if you just produce copper, you won't get that good result because then this 59 against 59 may be some oxidization. But when you make sure you have a mixture, even if you can make a composite GANS, that this goes to 200, 250, you get a better power supply because there's more energy can come out of the system. Some of you say, I made a system, it didn't work, there was something wrong with it. You don't understand the work of the plasma, that you need plasma gradient. It's a difference between this plasma and this plasma. That's the only difference. So you want to work with this, and then you blame it doesn't work because you missed the big boy. When you add, you allow, you, even if you can make these things of a heavier element, if you can make these of the heavier element, go to above copper, go for heavier materials, go even for plutonium, go for uranium. I'll teach you what that comes to. It's not radioactive. Non-radioactive plutonium is part of your life. You all carry part of it in your body, even though you think what? We all are the most effective nuclear power stations we call the human body. Without it, they don't exist. So look for very heavy metals, nano-coat them. They've been nano-coated a slightly different way because you need a high temperature to create a, a what they call nano-coating. And then coat your copper line with that. You find 200 to 59 is a big difference. The gradient is much, much bigger. The more powerful system. Then you see how your system is going to be powered when we come to the next step. So your homework yesterday was to make the coils. And from the coils, some of you have already managed to come to the nanomaterial. Today's homework is try to make as much GANS as you can that this GANS, what they call, why we call it a GANS is gas in nano state because you evaporate it at the point of gas state of the matter in a singularity of a nano, it becomes atomic structure of itself in a plasma state, what we call a GANS. Gases in a nano state. That's where the technology comes from. We call it a GANS because when you heat it, it doesn't melt, it goes so fast on the top layer in a vapor condition to escape, but what it does, the magnetic field of the copper itself pulls it back, and then because it's separated in a nano state as a gas, then it appears as a nanomaterial going back on its own. That's how it's created. So the terminology of the GANS means gas in nano state. So when you put a GANS layer on this, the bigger difference than the inside, the higher gradient, the better powerful systems you can create. My call goes to the national governments who have nuclear reactor power stations and they were worried. There's still a salvation for using the plutonium and uranium in the power stations once you shut them down to create new condition for energy and agriculture. That part, I'll show you how to do it. That's what I've been trained for as a nuclear physicist, and this is part which applies only to the governments. And there is a huge way that present nuclear power stations can be shut down. They have to be shut down because the problem will be huge with them with this new technology. But the materials, even in the cladding of the fuel rods, can be used in a very effective way for space travel in a very short time. This is something which in coming time we share with national governments. Normal people don't have access to this kind of technology and knowledge. So now you understand your homework for tomorrow. Yesterday you made the coils, 
your job by tomorrow is to give it a clothing. Bring the fuel in. That's all it is. You've got to add the fuel. Without it, that's what I said yesterday. It will not work. A lot of people have tried it. It will not work. Now you know how. This, when you do it, make sure that the material goes everywhere. Take your time, shake it inside, that everywhere is fully coated and let it dry. Take your time. This I put under blower overnight here in the lab to reach it. We have a full set downstairs. We have two sets downstairs and Hopefully, sometime today, or maybe by Thursday morning, we've been promised the first three units of the production line from the factory will be here. They, they will dispatch it. The driver will bring it down. It's about uh, quite a long way away from here. If he arrives by Thursday morning, you will have the first three units, which has been built. We can open it and you can see the structure. So in so many ways, you wanted the homework for today. That's all you need to do. Because tomorrow, we try to show you how to assemble it. The assembly is important, how you assemble it together. And we've seen how, uh, what you call it, Richard has done. I'm sure we get other people who developed, nano-coated it. Now they know why they need the guns. And if you've been with the Cash Foundation for long enough as knowledge seekers and the students, you will understand that these people have been through learning over a year, two years, how to make every single one of these steps a step at a time how to nano-coat, how to make the GANs, and now they see the fruit of two years of hard work. It makes sense. It brings home the reality why man has enslaved himself to oil and money when he has had everything for thousands of years in his hand. When the man made the first barbecue, when the man made the first kebab, when the man made the first meat on the fire, he made his first nanomaterial, but he never realized it. When the man put the first cooked meat in his mouth and he went in his stomach, he made the first gans in his own body. He never realized. And when the gans goes in the body of the man, is the energy of the plasma which is released to the body, not the food. And now, as your lymph absorbs energy of the plasma, it becomes your life, your heating, your walking, your thinking. Now you use the same understanding for the first time in human life to do the same. Conversion of the matter into a plasma that you can use the plasma energy, gravitational magnetic fields to do whatever you like. When you eat an apple, the apple does not cross the wall of your stomach or your intestine. The apple entering your body enters really an environment like this. That's your throat going down. It goes in the magnetic gravitational field of the ganses of material, what you call lymph and your muscles. And when it goes into your stomach, it changes that only can transfer the gravitational magnetic field of it into the lymph. Now, this is the layer of your stomach and the layer of your intestine. Energy transfers across the wall, not the food, not the apple. And then when this energy transferred in a given strength, Whenever it goes in your body, then it decides by the body, by your neural system and your blood, if it becomes the cell of your hair, becomes the cell of your lung, it becomes the cell of your blood. Then the transformation is the same. 
if you understood this, if you can understand what I just explained here, that what you can give the energy back into your wire, and what comes out of here, as we explained yesterday, is the end of the lymph. What would you like it to be? You transfer, you decide what this point gives you. This is your lymph system. This is your end of intestine when it's digested and pure plasma. Then you decide you want vitamin C, you want it to become part of your finger, your toe, your hair, your eye. This is not a power supply. This is not an electron vibration system. This is the totality of the knowledge of the creation in the universe. It's you who's got to decide you want it, as I explained to you yesterday, you plug it in and then you decide. These people took all my plugs out. No problem. I have another one. I just made one. These systems, you add adapters, you decide what, with a little mode, will come out of here. You want gold? The gold will come out. You want copper? The copper will come out. You want oxygen? You just adjust it to the gravitational magnetic field of the element you want. This is the change, of course, for humanity, and this has been the biggest frightening technology ever man could dream, that no one can be servant to no man and free from everything. Because when you have the energy, when you have everything else, you're a man independent of becoming servant. Because you become servant when they can give you what you need. Now you don't. You're free. There it comes, God calling. So you understand where this technology is going. This magra power is literally man power in his own hand and away from a slavery of thousands of years. This is what we said to the ambassadors. When everybody is free, nobody will take arms up. What do you need to fight for what? Unless you want to call your power hungry and you want to be the boss. But the problem with this technology is, is gravitational and magnetical and affects even your emotion and your thoughts that it goes at peace. You never want to be the boss. This is in the holy writings. The time will come that no one will take the crown of kingship because it will be such a heavy burden. It's the writing of Baha'u'llah. What can we do? How far can we push this to change? Your homework is this tomorrow. The day after is assembling it. And then by Friday is your freedom. Then you have to work with the Keshe Foundation around the world the way we can change into food that we need without conversion to the matter state. It's easy. Now, the second riddle of the blueprint is over. And more or less, this is the backbone of the energy system you have. The rest of it is refining. From now on, what we teach you is refining it. If you understand this, and if you understood yesterday and today, you're a free man. If I get killed tonight, or if I die tonight, humanity has got this freedom. It's you who got to evolve it. Don't let people abuse it, because every one of you, if you don't have a 14 gauge copper wire, a computer wire will do the same. But you need more of it. But never twist the wires together. One day I explain. Never use twisted wires for this development. It will come to regret. Use a single wire according to the work of a plasma, and then you find out how it works. So, Mr. Cash? Yes? Is that because that will create an imbalance in that uh, nano coating? 
it creates imbalance in the environment of the whole system. When you use twisted wires next to each other, the way I've seen a lot of people doing, braided, you call it, you create a condition which is abnormal and the field flows is disturbed in a way that they cannot centralize their forces. So, you understand how fast you can change the whole condition. Now, you have the major part of the blueprint for energy. We we'll teach you tomorrow how to connect, if you go fast enough. If, most probably, what we're going to see, we see a development of these things by members of the Cash Foundation worldwide before the public, because a lot of you don't know how to make a nanomaterial, you got to learn, a lot of people don't know how to make the guns. All these Cash Foundation guys around the world, men and women and children, have already have pots of these things around the house because they've been making it for past few years. Now they can see the hard work has paid off. So tomorrow we see a few of you who have a gas and managed to dry it, will liquidize it. But please, before I forget, very, very important, don't use all your gas and try to make some of it into a paste like a toothpaste. You need it. Dry your liquid guns under the light, not to a hard rock, solid, but to a paste like a pizza paste, like a dough, but no moisture in it. You need it because that's the key to your next step. This is another part of blueprint. I teach you this on Thursday. Without it, you will not get the performance. You need keep the way you liquidize it or in a, what do you call it, a stew shape. You need it in a paste shape. I was looking in the lab, I couldn't find my paste. Do you have some? Can I have some? Not the paste. Armand is going to get some for us. You need it because I will explain to you why. No, 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 no. Sorry about that. You have to be able to keep the paste. You need a very little amount of paste but that will be a huge step in the process of uh, power production. If you want to go into high power, you need the paste. This system, when you make it without it, will give you maybe one, 1 1.2 kilowatt to build up to the power of three to four kilowatt, you need the paste. This is what they call, you got to wait. So, the reason we are doing it in this way is that we carry as many people as possible. That as many people as possible can build the system. We thank you for all the orders you are putting through the Cash Foundation. We understand and we have made arrangements yesterday and paper is ready for me to sign today in the coming few days, maybe most probably sometime next week, as we said yesterday, we will deliver a thousand to the Palestinian nation, to their ambassador. And then we deliver the first batch to the Italian police, and then the first batch of free energy units will be delivered in southern Italy, where we are based at, amongst the people in this area. So something like 2,000 units will be distributed in the Italian area 
within the next two or three weeks, that the public can see the benefit of it. They have hosted us here. They have looked at us here for the past three years when we took exile in, in Italy. And now we pay back the nation with what we have developed here completely. And in the coming time, you allocate the nations which you want the units to be given to. We estimate we can distribute 10, 20,000 units a week on the back of the orders we are receiving. And we allow it to be distributed back in the society very rapidly. And I hope those who start building these cash foundations, manufacturings, will do the same. If you see anybody, millionaires, out of the cash foundation products, it means they're stolen from the rest of the society. It's been balanced so fairly that you all can have a good life, but you share whatever you receive. We do not build Vaticans and Bill Gates. We give the gates of Vatican to the bills to destroy. So if you understand exactly what you're doing, you work on the ethos of what is given to you freely, put it back in the society. Yes. They don't want to. This is the cameraman from the, in, the, the what do you call it? The, your name, your company is? K World Television. K World Television. He's we, the man. We ask for you to the King World Street. No problem. They don't want to. The thing is, we've been nominated three times for Nobel Prize, and the Americans said Iranian nuclear physicists are not clever enough yet. We can steal the technology, put them in prison for 11 days in Canada, but then we say it's an American invention. But they stole for everything they could for years, but they never understood the technology for the first time they can understand it. That actually, you never accept Nobel Prize, you know that. The worst thing you can accept is a prize from a criminal. You understand the story of the Nobel. Huh? Nobel Prize came from a murderer. So he tried to cover his own acts. And he made it very significant. It's like the way it works in Belgium at the moment. If you are given Mandela Prize, you have really won something. You've been given, you appreciate it for your work. Whenever you are given Nobel Prize, you put it in the bin, you refuse. Because it's dirty with the blood of man. It came out of dynamites to kill, and then they just put the clothing on it as a prize. You got to understand the next step in the whole structure is very simple. The whole process in the structure is conversion of matter to plasma, back from plasma to matter if you need it. This is the freedom of what we have received. There we are. Uh, the blood. Ah, yes. I come forward for you to see both. This is Fabio. Get him to come back in because he needs to do it. If you look, on the top is copper oxide, and underneath is brown, is uh, guns of copper itself. What you see here is the paste. This is the paste which you need. This is even too thick. You need it thinner and thicker than this. It has to be literally like a dough paste. You want to see it? I'm going to go close to the camera. Our cameraman has changed. Our oh, man. There is the paste. Okay, there. Yeah, this is the paste which you come to. You see it? And this is a mixture. I make a different paste. If I find it, I put it somewhere very safe. And uh, I can hear you. It's my little boy sitting in the classroom. So now you see how things changes. 
you change the paste. You change the material where you came from a matter state, where the matter state itself came from the plasma of the sun. And in losing the strength, it became matter state, copper, whatever, according to the strength of his environment. And now you've done the reverse, but now you have the knowledge to work in all three states as you need. In a plasma state, in a nano state, or in a matter state, and the energy to go from one to another is the energy which is released and you use. That's what I said to you yesterday. There is no 100 plus one or one plus one. This is one and on its own one million, billions. It's the energy resources which man always knew but never understood how to tap it. Now we understand how to do it. And that's what I said. Plasma in a Ganser state is a new fuel for humanity, not only on this planet, but for a space. In a space section, we use this plasma state for creation of gravitational magnetic field in respect to Earth, and we find our position. We don't burn fuel. This is called the space reactor technology, which is again in a matter state where the new students in the Keshe Foundation Space Institute work with a plasma unconditioned and irrelevant to the matter because they only work in this section. So, in so many ways, you have to understand the blueprint week when we expand, as I said yesterday, and we went with the teachings of yesterday afternoon, is not for you to make a power supply. It's set up for you to understand a new energy technology. It's why we carry on this afternoon, tomorrow, tomorrow afternoon, Thursday, morning and afternoon, and Friday, whoever has made units can demonstrate it. Even if your system blows up with a big bang, means you left a drop of water somewhere, we come back to you next week, you can demonstrate how much you've done, how much you does, what the system works, and what else you've discovered new, and we share the knowledge from now on, as we've done on the workshops. So, you got to look at it as a new scientific technological breakthrough for human race, but it's only for a space. You can see my socks. It's a stripe on her. Oh, what about this one? Have you seen them talking to each other? Hello, Rubin. <laughs> so, this is the reality of life. They say never have children in the classroom, but without the children, there is no classroom because we used to be the children. We are organizing, hopefully soon, the Keshe Foundation teaching for children will start at the early ages of eight, 10 years old, that the children understand the new, that they don't have to be taught the matter state only, but they'll be taught the matter and the plasma state together, that they understand the transition. At the moment, all our physics is considered in this area. Now we can teach the youngsters about the others and the conversion. Then, like the way they grew up to understand computers from age of three, four years, they can play all computer games. They will play with the plasma from young age. So, are there any questions? Yes, there's one question here. Which microphone do we use? Your new one, yes, of course. We have to press this. Oh, how do you switch it on? I'm pressing everything which is in my hand. What else do I have to press? The green one. I don't see any green. A gray one. Okay. Oh, yeah, it came one. Yes, it works. Thank you very much.
Yeah, you were talking about the uh, cross section of the copper there. If it was hollowed out, if we could get a hollow wire, um, wouldn't that create light in there? Not necessarily. No? Not necessarily. So it's actually the fields that are. The fields, which is well, in a way, it, in a way, maybe you understood the wrong way. Here is hollow, even from magnetic fields, very high, powerful magnetic fields. When, as knowledge seekers, you build the ping pong balls, when you made the ping pong balls and you filled it up with guns of copper, if you remember, what we got, we had some water, And then we had a hollow space where the main power of the plasma was sitting. With this process here, you have the replication of that. But this time you enforce it because the gravitational magnetic field forces of this pulling and this pushing will create a center gap here which is very much totally free of weaker fields, but very stronger fields, which can fly or travel at a very high speed, millions of times faster than the speed of light. If you understood the plasma technology, the way we have it in twitching, and you understand the interaction of the gravitational magnetic fields of different strengths, you come to understand that the fallacy which came into life with Einstein that the speed of light is the ultimate speed of light is nothing but nonsense. Because he did never understood the totality of the physics as a bookkeeper, he made some things and I said to them all the time, if I was a Jewish guy, I would have been the genius of the century. But because I'm half Jewish, Jews don't talk about it. But Einstein was Jewish, so I made a king out of him with a lot of mistakes in his crown. The speed of light is the possible limitation of the travel of the matter state, magnetic gravitational field, and no more. In the higher order, gravitational magnetic field of the strength, which is in deeper states or more in the center of the plasma, the speeds can be achieved, which is by order of factors, thousands and million times faster than the speed of light. So when the scientists that tell you it's 100,000 year, light years away, tell them it's 100,000 light years away from your brain because you never understood. What you see is what is happening instantly because you tune to the strength of the light at the time of its emission. We carry a very beautiful thing in our body as a human race. If I can clean it up somewhere, I explain to you. Oh, should I turn the page? I go a little bit down. I have a very good thing at the tip of my finger. Just keep reminding them. I can go that way or I can go this way. The speed of light. So now you got to remember something very strange, light. This is what we taught you yesterday. If this was the toilet roll, as you go in, the strength of the plasma increases by order of magnitude. This is the matter state the weakest. When you travel at matter of a state here, you travel not, let's say, four times more, you travel by the order of magnitude 40,000 times more. If you go to here, you work with millions and millions of order of magnitude, and it goes by the order of magnitude of this, 
don't forget there is a difference between 10 to the power 10 times 10, then 10 to the power of 10. This is 100. This is 10 billion. This is 100 kilometers. This is this. This is matter state. This is plasma and this is state. And then here you go by the order of magnitude of this on top of that. So every time you turn and open a layer of the toilet roll from here to there, coming back to the same, your order of magnitude increases by millions of times more. There you go, sir. So now you understand. Now you understand in how it works. When I originally took one of these wires to Diamond Bors in Antwerp, the, I explained to them this is a diamond structure. What it means, it does not attach to nothing. You cannot weld it together. You can fold it together. One of my friends, he pinched one. He wouldn't, I was very careful that I go in with the number, I come back with the number, but he was so good that he just put one away in, in his pocket. And he called me a few days later. He says, have you ever looked at this thing you brought us? I said, what's wrong with it? He said, it's full of holes. I said, what do you mean? He said, we looked at it. We took it into the diamond board's lab and we looked at it. It's full of holes. What's this you made? I said, you explain to me. He said, but it looks like diamond. It behaves like diamond because I let them to do a test, a very nice test with it. And that was, I allowed them to bring all the electronic system they had, but they could not weigh it. And what they did, they put it on the microscope and all the things they have to see how there's this new diamond behavior. What they saw was the diamond people. They saw the first nanomaterial, but they could not understand it. When they looked at the surface of it, what they saw was this. What they saw on the wire, was this. If you look at it, what they saw was this. Nothing, something, nothing, something. Where the gap is, there was nothing. They called it hole, was where the two plasmas took their position in respect to each other, gravitational magnetic field. But because they were made of the same material, they absorbed all the radiation. All the diamond bulls equipment showed it as diamond because it will not reflect, it will be a best resistor they could measure. But what they actually so for the first time in the diamond bombers in 2006, 2007, was first a structure of nanomaterial. So when you have this, you have homogeneous thing. It's totally homogeneous. Everything is gapped, positioned perfectly in respect to each other. What is this? What can you do? If you can create such a nanomaterial that the gaps are perfect because of the magnets, which we showed yesterday, the way they position themselves, then you will understand something very interesting. Let's open up this. If I position one of these here, 
and one of these here, and one here, and one here, knowing that I use copper, for example, to create this gap. And I know the size of, let's say, a poison, which is, let's say, I'm gonna go smaller, and I'm gonna go a finer red. Now, this was a gap between, does this thing, is it metal or is it plastic? No, we cannot stick it. So these are the plasmas. They create a spacing, what they saw as a gap. If you can use a special material, this is a gap, let's say, for copper. If I use, let's say, plutonium, the gap will be this big. I'll put it here. You see the difference between the gap? Now, if I put a gap of a, a plasma of a poison, which is this size, We'll go through this, but here it will not go through. You can make new filters for any kind of poisoning. You can use nanomaterials, if you understand it, for filtering blood without dialysis machine. The opportunities opened with this development the way the simplicity of producing it is so huge, it will take man thousands of years to unravel the secret of what I've opened up. If you understand this, and if you understand this, and if these are the galaxies in the universe, now you can see how you can make yourself travel through time in zero time. You slide amongst the gravitational magnetic field created by the galaxies in positioning themselves. There is no difference than this. Now you understand. It's you who's got to understand the totality, then you understand there is no magic. That's why everybody said it doesn't work because they never understood the magic in the slave of a scientist who understands the totality of the creation in the universe. And you are too busy with the pitfalls of a few vibration of electrons. So now you understand what is to come. It's in your hand to change the course of humanity with what you understand. In the coming time, when more and more units are released, more and more technology is released, then you find out how much money has been wasted even developing part of the rocket propulsion technology at the moment. NASA is trying to use plasma, but in a matter plasma state of understanding, and they will not achieve anything. If they understand the work of the plasma through GANs, then they find out they'll be on the moon before end of the year. There's only a month and a half left, or two months left. There are some Cash Foundation guys who are trying to do it before NASA, but that's something else. We teach them, but then explore them. They have to explore the opportunities. In plasma, you can find everything the man needs if you know how to treat it. 
if you know how to push, where to push, and how to collaborate without pushing, then the plasma lets you have all the beauty of the creation. It's for you to start understanding, not for us to explain it to a spoon feed you. Any questions? Um, there have been questions here. We've been trying to answer some of them in the chat and so on. Um, oh, you see the masters are in the background. They're answering the question. Fantastic. Can I have a holiday, please? <laughs> Not quite. There's one uh, question that turns up quite a bit that people are wondering about the thickness of the uh, or diameter of the wires uh, to make the coils. You choose. You choose. The, the thicker wire, the more plasma transfer. That's all the difference. Then the wires we use the wires for different things. Is Renan online, please? Renan? Hello? Or is he working? I'm here, sir. Yes, sir. Hi. Brennan, can you explain to us the way you do with your pens with different diameter wires? If oh, okay. Usually, I what I did with the pens right now is it's diff, uh, we use only the, the same gauge of wire, but with different forms. So uh, the thicker wires are usually we have not started making plenty of the thicker wires. We just use the thicker wires to create spiral coils for patches. And for the pens, we are using the thinner gauge, the telephone wire, and we make a different shapes of the coils. We use the egg shape coil continuous. We also make a vortex coil and uh, we combined uh, uh, double core coils under a, a single, uh, under a vortex coil. So I teach this in the classes last week. So uh, we just make variations on the shapes of the coils. So to can you go on camera? Can you show us? Oh, I wait for a while, sir. I'll get first because I'm not at home. I'm in the factory right now. I oh. I'll check. I have my gadgets here. Okay, I got one. Are you sharing with us the screen? Yes, it's uh, on my video. Can you pin the video? Ah, uh, we got to share just one second. Okay. Yeah, okay. Yes, sir. So this is one of the pens that I made. Uh, the coil is uh, the egg shape coils. Mm -hmm. as a double core egg shaped coils so this pen is uh, another its uh, configuration is for deeper penetration on the uh, organs so with uh, about three layers of this or three three coils in series like this shape it penetrates deep very deep so we tried it can penetrate to the liver, to the uh, deeper, it depends which part of the stomach or which part of the system. And we also, I have also the other coils, this one. So let me see, sir. I open it. Okay. There's the guns factory at the back, harvesting. It's the guns factory. It's for the, it's for, for your the, power production. Yeah, this is for the power unit, the guns for the power unit. So here it is, uh, also this one. So this one is the <coughs> other yeah, can. coil. Can you see? If you move your hand, you see better. Okay, yeah. Like that. No, no, more. Yeah. 
So this one, sir, is uh, we. This is a vortex coil. So we I use this to operate a child who is already in severe pneumonia. Yeah. This one. Yeah. So we recover her uh, very quick in just three minutes. We normalize her uh, oxygen. Her oxygen. Is this the one you used on the young girl in the hospital last week? Yes, this one, sir. This is the one. So we this is together with this one. Together with this one. So this one is uh, this one. I inserted this normal coil that we have in the pen, the double coil point, mm -hmm. the double pointed, and I just insert it here inside in the middle. So it goes halfway. Thank you. So that's one of the, the configurations of the pens that I'm making for operations for emergency and to have quicker and faster effects for the ordinary pens. For the ordinary pens, it's just for common use. And uh, this one is for, uh, we're trying this, we have already have an affiliated uh, social service hospital. So we have scheduled at least once or twice a week to visit there and do controlled experimentation with their patients. So we'll be testing uh, in parallel. So there is uh, with two the same diagnosis and we will test the devices like this and other devices uh, using the acupoints to the one to uh, one patient and the other one is using the traditional pharmaceutical drugs. And we will see and we will compare it for uh, maybe a two-week study, three-week study. We'll compile the information. So the hospital will be helping us to do it. So they will be gathering the information for us and we'll get the reports at the end of the uh, month. So this is what I'm using for now for the new pens that are used for hospitals and clinics. And the ordinary pens, this is the ordinary pens configuration alone, which I which is inside the pens that uh, I'm manufacturing here. This is the this is the design specific design. It's a single double pointed coil, so it's just a folded pen, a folded folded wire, and coiled counterclockwise. So the both ends are on this one. This is the one pointing outside towards the pen. Pen point. That's very nice. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Uh, how come you got such a big guns factory behind you? Ah, this is for this is the for the manufacturing of the power unit, sir. So we're ha harvesting more guns. <coughs> Sorry. So we can produce more. Uh, more. The, this is our backlog here. So we have less guns. You have advantage there. So that's why uh, our other units are stuck in the production because of the guns. Wow. So we we're now uh, mass producing the copper guns. So. That's why we're here. The manufacturer is here also with us. This is the small laboratory. Oh, that's so small, very big day. Eh? Uh, under construction. But soon uh, we will have a full educational facility here that we can also do some teachings here and share it to uh, all knowledge seekers who will have a set up as well. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Um, is there any more you can teach us? All right, now, sir, the power units, the coils, sir. Do you, do you want to see the coils here? Yep. Yeah. So this one are the mass produced. One of the mass produced coils. These are mummified coils. Why do you mummify them? Uh, this is so that uh, oh, to, to hold, hold the guns. guns. Ah, so, OK. Yeah, just to absorb. These are just cotton cotton cloth. So when we immerse this to the guns water with the gun steered, so we put this immerse so and let it then dry, air dry. So the guns will stick on the cotton cloth to maximize instead of using any adhesive. So we just use uh, at least organic materials. So cotton instead of using uh, another plastic. So this is one thing what we're using right now for the uh, you dry it, you mummify it. Yes, after nano coating and everything, we put we mummify the coils and we 
dip this into the guns. Ah, you you do it after you put on it. Yes, after the nano coating and everything. So is this is only for to stick the guns. So more guns will stick on the material. Uh, okay. This we don't idea. do that. We just try it. Yeah, this is one idea that we found out that uh, it's it's helpful. We use before is bun paper. So the bun paper, only the ordinary paper, it cracks. So uh, our manufacturer here found out that you can use cotton tapes. So it's good for guns. So this will be the one to be uh, put under the guns water. Remind me when after today we got to speak. I tell you yeah. something about this, yeah? Okay, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Thanks very much. Thank you Thank indeed. You, okay. Thank you indeed. <coughs> Do you want to show us your uh, coil, the one you made without the without the factory? Yeah, it's here, sir. We have here also the ordinary coil that I made. I have a copy here. Uh, I really like your GANS kits in the background there, Renan. Yeah, I can see them. He's, he's made a real. But don't forget, they're, they're keyed up to produce for the whole of Philippines and Far East. It's just yeah, a... <laughs> this is just a little setup there. This is only three racks, so we will be building more racks there. Oh, okay. We have also. Tower. This one is the tower, sir. Uh huh. Ah, you made the power this way. Yeah, this is the 12 stacker. Why do you need 12 stacker? For industrial. Ah, uh, you come back. It's okay. Now I understand what you're doing. There. Yeah. <laughs> because uh, it's industrial here. So this one, sir, we didn't make one. Uh, this one is the non, the ordinary, the same coil that is in the house that I have set up. So these are the, the non-mummified non non -mummified coils. Non okay. So this is our already fire nano-coated. So fire nano-coated coils that are already double layer inside. And uh, so what we're planning next is uh, hopefully we will be doing the, we're setting up our steamer. So for the next is we're gonna do double nano coating, uh, nano coat with fire and eventually with steam as well, so that we the the nano coat won't peel off because some of the nano coat with fire, if it's not properly done, it peels off easily. So but when it's yes, already because it attracts with the water, the moisture in the air, and it just splits yes, off. That, that's why. So the one I have in in my house is uh, the same as this. Set up. Yeah. So we'll be also, sir. We're yeah. We're also making some CO two kits here. We're gonna nano coat some more, more plates because uh, we'll be soon starting uh, educational workshops here, and we'll be making plates for them. So the people who will be uh, interested to continue the workshop will be teaching them. We'll be selling them some kits so that they can assemble their setup. There. Thank you very much. Cool. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks, Renan. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Thank indeed. you sir. Thank you indeed, Renan. <laughs> so, what you see is the way the knowledge is already shared along and across this planet. We share the same knowledge. We are hoping to hear from the Chinese if and when the president of China receives his, what do you call it, the prototypes. You want to tell us what happened in Armenia? You were the ambassador, you're the only ambassador who's come back. The rest have been killed, I think. They'll let you go. Would you like to explain to us what you did? Come on. You met Armand, he took two units, one to Armenia, 
for the president of Armenia, and he took one unit to the president of Georgia. He traveled by land from one country to another. He presented them to the member of parliament and in both countries. He can explain to you what is done and how this technology, the two first, uh, what do you call it, the Maghreb units were received by their nations. And then we'll see. I'm going to sit down. I need a break. Between the green line, you're visible. Outside, you're a mystery. No, no, you're going to be visible. Otherwise, they think it's just a voice. Hello, everybody. Uh, actually, both trips were very successful. Both countries uh, received the units. Uh, in Armenia, there were more than 20 people were present in the meeting, uh, which uh, one minister and uh, actually all the scientific group were sitting and listening to the presentation. Uh, my problem was to translate everything to Armenia, uh, to Armenian because it's hard for a moment. But I mean, it's really hard to hear you. Can you keep that right to your chin, please? Okay. Okay. Right, wait, wait, wait. I give you this. First of all, I want to say thank you to the group that made this happen in such a short notice. You know, they organized it very perfectly that uh, two governments received the units in their hands. And in a meeting in Armenia, what amazes me that uh, when I put the nanomaterial on the table, the people couldn't understand how could it be super conductor and super resistor. And I just left it, I made some GANs, CO2 GANs, and left it and explained how from the nanomaterials uh, we can, you know, uh, make GANs. And uh, actually this was new things for them. And they were surprised and they were asking formulas. And I said, there is no formulas, you know, it's a, it's a kind of new way of understanding the science. But uh, after a few hours, actually, when they put the unit and start to test, you know, they couldn't understand why two meters were connected together. So I said, if it's going to be more feasible for you, you can put the one meter when the uh, electricity actually coming from the grid, and one meter when you supply uh, your household. So then you can measure it, how much energy it comes in, and how much energy you use and uh, in time it will uh, consumption of energy it will drop down trem tremendously i think you know we made a very good impression so right now they are testing in the institute with group of scientists in armenia which i had a phone call today and later on we will have a actually conference call with them to give more uh, instructions how to do and what to do. In Georgia, it was the same. There were three people, two deputy of ministers were uh, present in that meeting and they were surprised actually. It's something new, they never heard about it. So, uh, and they are doing the test too because uh, uh, the head of the uh, Armenia uh, President of Armenia gave them instructions actually to do the testing ASAP. I am very happy that we delivered it. So two governments they have it in hand. Unit. What we see is the first report back from. Thank you very much, Armin. Um, how the technology is spreading by the knowledge seekers, by people who care about the human race. Where do we go?
there are those who try to use the Keshe Foundation for the confirmation of existence like parasite by attacking because that's the way they want to be noticed. But the people who serve humanity will take this knowledge and they'll make a beautiful thing out of it because what we call GANS is what your body is made of. This, if you've been on the Cash Foundation teachings, you know it very well. If you haven't been, you all know even the body of the man is nothing but a mirage of interaction of the three different magnetic fields, which gives you a skin. If I place three different nano layers in a specific way, Here, you will see physicality. To you, I'm too far. To you, it's dotted line, but there is so many of these layers underneath at the end, it looks like your skin to be tangible. In fact, even your skin is nothing but a layer of nanomaterial created by the interaction of the three layers of the skin which you have. Mr. Kesh, can you just do a quick uh, mic check there? It's uh, doing a little bit of scratching. Is it better now? Thank you. Thank you very much. I'm still got the green light, so the battery is good. So, <coughs> what even you see as your own skin, you feel as your own skin, is nothing but the interaction of the three layers, of nano layers in different thickness in your body. If you look at the structure of the stomach, it's the same structure of the heart, the structure of every organ in the body of the man is by the interaction of different layers, which they give themselves physicality manifestation and the body of the man. So what you call GANS now, or what we call nanomaterials in a plasma condition is part of the structure of your own physical body. It's part of what you are made of. The body of a man is made of cans in a different shape of forms and the strength that it's been programmed to be at a certain strength, certain tissue, muscle, cell at a given point in the body of the man. That's why you all, for example, have a lung in your chest because the bone structure dictates the position of the lung. And the position of the cells of the lung is decided by mainly the shape and structure of the bone because the bone encapsulates the body at that point. Why do you have different soft organs when the rib cage is hardly ever there, open space cavity. And why human race is so vulnerable to different diseases in its, in, in its abdomen section? Because it's open to every field from everywhere. When you have a rib cage, you control it. When you have an open space, everything is absorbed. Because your body is made of guns. So you are one huge gravitational magnetical field system. Then if you understand these things, then you see why what Renan showed you works and to you is positive. But in fact, it's nothing. He introduces a new gas state with the springs in the environment when there's been disturbances and he just brings it balance. And then you see the disease changes because this is the new understanding of the science of medicine. 
We do not force, we do not give you a tablet to fight the disease. We create a condition of a balance at the point of the disease where the system, the energy received from the pen or whatever, compares the strength with the rest of the cells in this environment. And if there are a few different, the pen or the material he uses looks at the balance in totality of the area. And when these are not in balance, they give and they take what they need. And what happens? They come balance with the rest of the environment. And then you see the disease disappearing. In plasma technology, we don't fight. That's why it's based on the structure of the piece. We work within to accommodate. You have some, I don't need some, you can take what I have, and I give you what you don't need. If you need it, take it. And when I need it, I take it from somebody else because it's balancing of gravitational magnetic fields and nothing more. Then you see why this technology has become a magic. And a lot of people who understand it will take this to the next step. We see it with Renan. We see it with other people in space in the coming time and with other people with agriculture as we've seen with Mexico, Chinese, and the rest of it. At the moment, not only we are reaching the people public the way like these teachings, our ambassadors, people who are teaching governments and officials are reaching both sides. What we are doing, we are literally cascading the humanity from both ends, public and from the top, the government. And very soon, within the next three months, will open the whole population of the world population into opening because we are coming from both ends. We teach public and we inform the way we did the governments. Public will demand it, governments have to deliver it. What are you trying to show? Can we show that picture? I don't think so. You can put it to Rick. So, now, tomorrow, we go to the next step of assembling. And we've seen how production is done in Philippines. Maybe hopefully, by Thursday, we receive the first units which are delivered around the world will arrive here, and we have a prototype which is open. We show you how you assemble the prototype, how you assemble it. Wins, have you received the, Rick, have you received the email from Armin? There's a picture in it. What's the time, please? Three, fourteen. Have you received it? Armand wants to share this picture with us. Could you tell us who this is? Where did yeah, you send it? To? Can we give him a little bit to tee it up? And yes. Uh, can you advise on where he sent it? Where have you sent it yeah. to? When's sending it to you too? Okay, I'll look forward to him. Okay, then you can show it. We don't know what it is. It's a picture he's taken. Is it in Armenia or is it in Georgia? Ah, they are doing the testing institute. Okay, no problem. Um, are there any questions? We're about one o'clock, we stop one, and then we start at two again.
We have 47 open questions. We have answered 112 by text or other way. Pardon? We have 47 open questions. We answered only 112 time being. That's good. If you answer the rest, it opens all the mystery. What is, can you have the question number 46? You already answered number 47. Can we use lead to make guns, please? Of course, you can use anything. You can even use your... Would you like to say? We have a student here who knows everything. You said it, you have to repeat no. it. No. Brain. You can use your own brain. Um, you can use anything. The only thing you have to understand is to be able to create a condition that the atomic structure can become Gans structure. So what it means, you have to be able to come to a temperature or a magnetic field condition that the matter changes because you need the matter change where we don't get it. Why is that coming a uh, line? Oh, I'm too close to it. That's what happened. I want a line. Okay. So what we need, we're still getting. Okay. This is the atomic structure. You have to be able to create heat or gravitational magnetic field that the material can go this way. So what happens is that you do it with the heat, you do it with the um, uh, caustic temperature, you do it with the electric current flow, you do it with the plasma flow. You have to create a condition where this area can be changed. You can take the tight packing into an opener packing. So, with hydrogen, the best way to create an atomic nano gans of hydrogen is to use a plasma. Now that we have opened the plasma technology the way you understand, you all can produce gans of hydrogen in a very easy way, using the plasma. In a, you'll find out uh, to make a gans of stainless steel is very difficult because of the structure of the stainless steel. But you still can do it. To produce cans of uh, gold is not that difficult. You can do it uh, by creating the right atmospheric condition or you can do it with the right plasma condition. You can make a gans of, as everybody else has done, tomatoes, cucumber, uh, any other material. The hardest thing will be making a gans of inert gases. Inert gases to make a gans of is not that easy, but it's possible. Next question. Question number 45. Uh, there's a question from Stefano. He, me he mentions, Renan puts the wire back into the inner coil from the outer coil. So he uses Parker? the... Can you repeat? He says, uh, Renan puts the wire back into the inner coil from the outer coil. So he uses the magnetical coil to feed back the gravitational instead of doing it from the gravitational coil itself. Is it depends it, what he wants to use it for. 
He says, is it more efficient that way? Yes, depends what you want to use it for, what purpose is used for. The magnetical ring, it depends. If you use it for something else, it will be detrimental. You've got to understand what you use the system for. If you want to add to the energy or you want to sustain the energy. Because when you put the magnetical coil in, you take from the environment as well. When you put the gravitational in, you support the system internally. It's a big difference. When you put magnetical pointed in, you are eating with the others. When you put the gravitational through the center, you are using the same strength concentration. For a lot of diseases, you use different ways of setting it and producing it. These rings and these combination of nanomaterial coating will become so common in the coming months and years that people will know what is for what and what you do. It's the same with uh, Alex. Alex uses a slightly different, but the same kind of combination of materials, but he's more into vegetable and what you call it, fruits and herbal medicine. If you take it a step further, you add this to the Chinese development, which you've seen, you can work through the port control. You can do that with quite a lot of ease. We teach you in the coming weeks on the health teachings, how to use the reactors for emotional, what they call the psychological, uh, uh, what do you call abnormalities? Yes. Thank you very much. I tried everything. It's better to use that. Uh, it just seems that the projector has just been moved a little bit. We can see that there's a space on the bottom corner of it. So we'll take that, uh, we'll get that taken care of during the break. The break. Okay. Any other question? Or shall we call it a break? It's one uh, o'clock. Sorry, we have many questions. Uh, several people asking about the soup of mix of uh, CO2 and uh, copper oxide. Don't drink it. <laughs> so some are asking about is the super mix of CO2 and uh, copper oxide, or how long to leave the nano coated wire in the soup, or another question. Oh, I How's usually the use for making that. Pardon? As other asking what proportion, in which ratio to There is no proportion. You do, let me explain to you something very, very simple. This is what I always say. And if you understand, you understand all of it. Ask yourself a single question. There is so much noise in the background. Ask yourself a simple question. When the earth was built, did God stand outside with a scale and he measured how much he's going to put on this and this to make earth? Everything we see is out of the condition of whatever is available and the time is available, the way is available. If God makes the universe without the scale, why does man need a scale? I don't think God ever made a chemistry lab with equations and with what you call biological lab with whatever you call it. You got to learn in the world of plasma to understand it, not to measure it. You work by the strength of the feeling of the emotion and not by a scale and formulas. A lot of you say you've seen aliens, you've been on the spaceship and you've been to the space. Have any of you seen any alien chemist or a scale in their hand? You create the condition and see what that condition gives you. And if you remember how you created it, then that becomes your standard. 
You don't go. Understand something very simply, because I answer you in a very scientific way if you understand. If you don't understand it, it means nothing to you. Not a, a single oxygen cell, or what I call plasma cell, is made of two, four, six, eight. I want to take this away. I want to take this away. Then you understand. Two, four, six, eight. These are eight, let's say, protons. We make another eight neutrons. And then it carries eight electrons somewhere. Do you think every atomic oxygen carries exactly the same gravitational magnetic field and the same strength? It's impossibility. Look at the combination of the plasmas which are involved in a single atomic hydrogen or atomic oxygen. Look at the combination. It's 16, 24, or is it? And then what happened? Only this is a slightly different in the strength. The whole plasma of the oxygen will behave slightly different. If this electron is a slightly different strength plasma. The problem with the world of science is you generalize everything too much and now you can't break out of it. Not two atomic oxygen in gravitational magnetic field are the same as strength. Doesn't matter what formulas you write because you don't know what happened with this carbon cell with 12 in the nucleus and six outside in this boundary. This has interacted with this, its field is different. So in the world of science, in the world of plasma, everything is understanding and the condition you want to achieve. We have a man walking very fast. Oh, our beam has moved, yes. So, is there a problem in the back? No. Okay, it's shaking too much. So, now you understand, there is, there cannot be any formulas in the plasma because a plasma is a live entity and it tracks with the environment of other plasmas. It gives, it takes to find and accommodates the position. There is no way any of you, if you understand the plasma technology, can say we need two gram of GANs to make this effect. Because in that two gram of GANs, there are billions of the plasmas of let's say copper and each one has so many electrons and protons, each one interacting with a wall and the environment or atmosphere and the environment. So you got to understand you cannot, it's impossibility to work in the world of plasma with equations, formulas, and the amount because no two plasma is exactly the same. This is the world of reality. But if you want to make an equation, then you have to make a lot of assumptions. And that's where the whole science has gone wrong up to now. Because first law of thermodynamic made a huge number of assumptions to fit into the guy who wrote it and tried to create it. And now we see the masses in. Look at the biggest mistake ever made by anyone regarding simplifying, just trying to assert 
and nonsense into the world of science that we can't get this man to think any straight anymore. Just look how, what the hypocrisy is with this single, and I wish the guy would have never, he would have stayed the bookkeeper. Do you know how many ridiculous assumptions Einstein has made to make himself famous with this equation? When you put things down to prove your point, you have to make a lot of assumptions because in the world of plasma, it doesn't exist. You cannot make equations. And the biggest example of it is the biggest failure of science, accepting this as a true science. Because Einstein never understood, so he made a lot of assumptions. And as we know, this is a nonsense. If you really understand, mass itself, you can understand what the mass of the energy is, continuously changing, it can never be fixed because the mass is from the interaction of magnetic field, and he assumed the speed of light is also the speed of light. Now we know it's not there. What happened if I make this 10 to the power of, let's say 10, because now we know there is a different speed. It doesn't apply. And secondly, energy has to be collection of gravitational and magnetic field, and he never understood this. Yes. No, they didn't. The understanding is in the real world of plasma, there are no equations. You have to understand it, you have to feel it, you have to make a relationship with the interactions. If you want to write a formula, how many grams? Anybody tells us, can you give me how many grams I need? Tell them, can you tell me how many, how many molecules are in a gram of water about temperature and which gram, who measures it? You'll find out. If you work in the world of plasma, which is a universal condition, you have to understand it to achieve what you want according to the environment you operate. We call it the lunchtime. We come back at two o'clock. Thank you very much for this session. Please do your homework and show what you have made tomorrow. I enjoyed the mummified units, but please do not mummify because there is a problem with mummification. Unless you use fire resistance papers or fire resistance cotton in case of uh, rapid uh, discharge, of energy, it all happens, your cotton burns, nothing else happens. Your unit just might melt down, might not do, but try to use. In, in the Keshe Foundation, we use fire resistance papers and material. When you see this cotton or mummification, make sure it's a fire resistance. Thank you very much for today. We'll see you at two o'clock. Okay, thank you, Mr. Cash. Those thank that still, <clears throat> those that still have questions, we'll have to carry them on till the uh, afternoon session. If you'd like to, uh, just make present. sure you keep them like last time. Don't wipe them out. Yeah, I'm not sure if we can keep all of them or in both chats or not. Uh, let's see if uh, let's see anyway, if Vince let's can do that. I'll, I'll try yeah. just sending you uh, the list of questions, Rick. Okay, thanks okay. very much. Great. Save your chat, please. Thank you. Okay, so that ends the morning session for Tuesday, October 27th, 2015. Thank you, everyone, for attending. Okay, I'll end the live stream.